see, we'll start here. Uh, a lot of times with babies, you know, they're crying, they're not smiling. Uh, they need somebody to stand behind me, like I'll, I'll get like the mother and the father and, you know, the baby at first birthdays or communion parties or any kind of parties. And I'll do them all together on a page and I'll ask the father, if the mother's holding the baby, I'll ask the father to stand behind me. That way he could uh, try to get the baby to look in my direction. Because a lot of times they're looking all over the place, they might be crying. Here comes my dog. Um, but anyway, um, let's see. With babies, some of the rules of thumb, it's good to look at them to see what they actually look like. Um, you give them like little little noses. And a lot of times you could, they have just the shape of noses that you could see, kind of like the nostrils. So don't be afraid to put that in. And then uh, give them big eyes. And it depends if they have, you know, dark eyes or, or light colored eyes. Um, if the eyes are light colored, you could do something like this, you know. And again, this is working with black and white, so it's a little different when you're working on color. Um, give them a little bit of a eyelashes, or well, eyebrows, I mean. And then you're always faking the smile on them, so basically, what works good is to give them like a shaped top lip, something like that, and then the bottom lip. And then I just like to go with like a hint of the inside of the top lip and, you know, something on the corners, like blacken it in a little bit. And then uh, another tricky thing with babies, I mean, you could give this like, you know, for smiles. And if, if they're smiling, then usually the cheeks come out more you know, up on top, but, you know, if that happens, then you just kind of bring this in. It depends on, again, how wide you want to go with it. Um, give them little ears, and you give babies big foreheads. Now this could be, <laughs> this is generic, it could become either a boy or a girl. First we'll go with a boy, and just you know, sometimes they have just a little bit of hair, so you keep it light. And other times they might have like a, a big head of hair, a big mop of hair, spiky and everything. You know, so you could you could do that, whatever it is. Um, and if they have dark eyes, you basically go, you know, again, I like to start with the nose and work my way out. So, uh, now if they, have, if they have dark eyes, let's say, you could go, you know, something like this, and then I like to you know, work them in like this, and you know, it's not always necessary to do a line on the bottom of the eyes, like the way you did a top line. It's not always necessary to do a line all the way across the bottom, you know, and then you go with basically that again. Uh, now, the other thing with babies is if they're not smiling, which usually happens, and, and you put a smile on, I usually give the high cheeks, but a lot of times if they're not smiling, sometimes, you, well, whatever, you could try to give a little smile, but, you know, you feel like you're going way off course if, because uh, a lot of times with babies they have like very wide cheek areas, you know, so if you make too big of a smile, then you feel like you want to do that with the higher cheeks, and then you lose this because uh, it just doesn't look good if you, you know, give like something like this. I don't know; it just looks like too much. You know, cheeks here and down there. Uh, you know, then you give all this stuff. But basically, now uh, let's say if you want to make this a girl, and again we're talking generic. You know, you'd give her like a little bow or something in the hair. Uh, you could give little wisps of, you know, wispy things of hair coming down. Maybe give some hair down there. Um, and a big deciding factor is giving the eyelashes. And that way, you know, the boy becomes the girl. And so <laughs>